Supernatural Season 10, Episode 12, About a Boy. Now, we have yet another, I guess, filler-based episode for this season, and I thought I was going to be pleasantly surprised when it first started because the flashbacks, or I guess the recap, really, really focused on Rowena. Like, it started off with Rowena. It mentioned a lot about um, the coven and stuff like that. So, at first, I was like, oh, it's going to be kind of half and half. One half of the story is going to be, like, the silly stuff with the brothers. But the main story, really, is going to be us getting to see, like, Rowena and her continuing manipulation of her own son and kind of inching, you know, piece by piece towards being the actual villain for this season. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. Like, we got the flashbacks and stuff, but really, it was just because they were recapping pretty much anything that involved witches. Like, they even had the Charlie stuff from last episode, and that didn't seem like it had any reason to be in the flashbacks to me outside of the fact that it was magic. Like, they mentioned the stuff with Charlie saying, like, we're physically linked, like, her two halves when they were split. And I guess really the focus on that was the market cane more than anything. But even that didn't have much of a focus in the episode, aside from the fact that Dean being turned into his teen self really just got rid of the mark. And it was, you know, a one-episode thing, and they talked about it like, you know, it would get rid of the mark, maybe we don't. And then he did, which we all knew was going to happen anyway, so... It didn't really seem like it had much purpose. And I did enjoy the episode. It was interesting to watch, you know, teen Dean kind of get back into things and um, them kind of deal with the mission in that way. And I thought it was pretty funny. It, led to some, it definitely led to some funny moments in the episode. But I thought it was pretty cool. And it was just like, it was unfortunate that it wasn't as much of a focus on Rowena as I was hoping for. It was just the fact that her being, you know, one of the main villains or I guess going towards being the main villain and, you know, being a witch at the same time, that was really the big focus. It was just like, yep, yeah, you know, witch stuff. So let's just recap that. And like the hex bags and all that stuff. And really the only big thing that did happen with Rowena was the fact that the coven was referenced in this episode and it wasn't that, um she left the coven a long time ago, which is what I always thought. Like, when she first mentioned that, I figured, you know, she, she's she been living for centuries now. I figured she had that falling out with the coven a long, long time ago. And, you know, it was just like, you know, that's all in the past. She fell out with the coven. She's not with them anymore. And since then, which, like I said, I thought was like hundreds of years ago, you know, she's just been kind of doing her thing. And in this episode we find out that the Coven thing was actually fairly recent. Like, who knows how that is, you know, how recent that is, considering they're all, like, centuries old and all that stuff. But it's recent enough for them to have just sent someone, you know, from across, you know, across the planet to take out Rowena. So that is probably the biggest story element we've really gotten um, in this episode. And, and that was definitely cool. It was nice to see that the Coven isn't just sort of a part of the backstory it's not just like well she was in this coven of powerful witches she did something that made them mad and then they kind of kicked her out or you know she took off this happened recently enough where they're sending people to kill rowena which means that they will most likely send someone else very powerful um probably not from a uh, fable but they'll send another person another witch to take out rowena find her and then you know that'll add a whole new element to her and crowley you know, working together slash not trusting each other, mostly, you know, Crowley's in a very smart way, not trusting his mother. But that was definitely, like, the biggest story thing we got out of this episode. And other than that, it was, you know, just another filler. It was cool to get the moments that we got, like, the comedy moments, like, um, when Dean picked up the keys for the woman and the woman thought that, um, Sam was his father. That was a funny little scene. I thought it was nice. Them being in the car, which was right after that scene. It was a funny little scene. Some other funny stuff happened for sure. But overall, it was really just another filler episode. And like I said, the only real big thing we got is the fact that the coven is coming after Rowena. It wasn't just that they had a falling out and she was cast off and just, you know, she's out doing her own thing. She took off and she's just, you know, her killing people left and right, that's a bit much for the Coven, and she's going to be a target, or I guess technically she is a target currently, so that's really the only thing in this entire episode that's really going to carry over. We may or may not see Tina come back, because that's kind of what they do in the show. They'll have a character come in at one point or another, and then that character will come back, and it'll be like, you know, with 
you know, however long the show decides it's been between seasons, that character will come back and they'll be a different person. And of course, she's kind of in the fold now. She knows what's happened. She's been turned back into into a kid and all that stuff. So we may or may not see her next season or two seasons from now or something like that. But it was that sort of average filler episode. I mean, I actually enjoyed the last one a lot more than I enjoyed this one, and I can't really say why like I don't know I guess maybe because the last one I feel like that one focused a lot more on the mark than this episode did and that was because we had like Dark Charlie who was a great great catalyst for Dean where he was you know basically he was really focusing on not becoming you know like the evil Dean again and then he has like this literal manifestation which is almost like his you know evil manifestation and it pushed him towards, you know, like that dark side at the very end of the episode. And he kind of just went nuts and ignored the fact that if he beats up evil Charlie, then good Charlie will be hurt. And in this episode, it was kind of just like, maybe I don't get turned back into the adult me, which, like I said, we all knew was going to happen. It wasn't like, is there going to be some sort of, you know, young Dean for the rest of the season or something like that. We knew... By the end of this episode, he was going to go right back to regular Dean. So there was really nothing there for me where it was like, this, you know, holds any weight or any value. It's just like, yeah, they're talking about it and they're contemplating whether or not it would be a good idea. But we all knew what was going to happen. So it didn't really hold too much for me. It was an okay filler. Like I, like I said, it had its funny moments for sure. We may or may not see Tina come back for whatever reason. I mean, they can all, you, you can easily just write... She became a hunter, and like a year later, in season 11, she comes back and, you know, poof, she's helping him out. But as far as I'm concerned, it was an okay episode. It was another filler, which, you know, I feel like I've been saying this all season. It's like, you know, it, it's kind of disappointed me at this point because we've had so many fillers, and I just want to get the main story. Like, we typically have that where we get the main story, and sure, we have some fillers here and there. But this season has honestly been like half fillers so far. And that's not really good for the season. I I don't enjoy it. I'm sure there are some people where it's like every episode they still really enjoy. Um, I know a lot of the fillers I have still really enjoyed. This one wasn't one of them. But it's still a bunch of fillers. Whether I enjoy the fillers or not. When it's like two fillers in a row. And we've had that several different times. Where it would be like two fillers for two weeks. And then one main story episode, and then it goes right back to fillers again for two more weeks. It just kind of throws off the season. Like, there's basically nothing happening. I mean, there's nothing that they're going through that's really happening. Like, Rowena coming in, manipulating Crowley. We only see, like, a tiny bit of that every episode it happens. So it's not like that's happening and some big step happens in each episode she's in. And, you know, it's like a leap forward. It's just like... You know, a little step forward. She did, like, the little uh, dream sequence thing the last time she was in an episode to manipulate Crowley. She killed the guy. And I guess that was a fairly big step, but ultimately it's just, like, she's doing little by little to get him to trust her more and more. And, you know, we still have this stuff with Cass trying to figure out his old Grace situation and all that stuff. And obviously we still have the Market Kane, which is admittedly just going nowhere because... That's like, you know, there's always that one thing in each season where it's like they just can't get the answer. So that I didn't expect to end quickly at all. But, you know, it's not like we're getting like one story is leaping ahead and a lot of stuff is happening. And then maybe the other two are falling back or two are going forward. And like, you know, the Market Kane stuff is just kind of stuck because they can't find anything. Everything's just like stopped. Like it's, it happens in this one episode, some main stuff. And then, like, two weeks of fillers, and then we get one episode, a couple of main things happen, and then it feels like, you know, two weeks of filler again. So, you know, the season so far, admittedly, is kind of not my favorite season. Like, I love the beginning of it. This whole Demon Dean thing was awesome. Um, Dean going evil again, definitely cool. I love that, and him having a, this sort of balancing act. It can be good, whether it's filler or not. Like, in the last episode, I thought it was perfectly used with him... You know, especially, like, even that had funny moments and serious moments because he was, like, eating the almonds and all that extra crap. And then by the end, it was the polar opposite where he did officially snap. And in this one, it was kind of just one of those things where it's like, meh. Like, we talk about it because this random thing happened, but we know it's not going to really make any difference because it's one of the giant stories of the season. 
and also, you know, it would be a totally different actor playing Dean, so it was like two really big things we know aren't going to happen. But I did enjoy the episode for what it was, for sure. Had its funny moments. I'm just waiting for us to get back into the full season, like the official stuff with Cass. I feel like we haven't seen Cass in forever, but really that's just because it's been a while since we've had the main episodes. And I feel like they focus more on the Crowley and uh, Market Kane stuff than they do on um, Cass, really, which I'm fine with. Like, just any main story is good for me, but, you know, it was an okay episode. I'm just waiting for us to get back into the main story, but of course, I want to know what you guys thought about this one, so please comment below, let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts, and what do you guys think about this season so far, because every other season I've done, I think I've only really reviewed like two and a half seasons or something like that, and I've never had much of an issue with Supernatural, even before I was reviewing it, I've never had an issue, even during the Leviathan stuff, which I know kind of threw a bunch of people off, I really enjoyed that season. And I feel like this one, as great as some of the stuff is, like the Demon Dean and Dean still being a little crazy, even though technically he's not in demon mode anymore, it's disappointing to me because it's so much filler. Like, there's just so much excess stuff where it's like, it just doesn't matter. Like, we see other characters we've seen, you know, time and time again. And I like seeing those characters, like, you know, Sheriff Mills, I like your character. Charlie, I think, is cool. You know, I'm fine with all that, but it's still just a ton of filler, and it's not really satisfying me like most other seasons do, where, like, a bunch of stuff is going on, they're constantly doing things. Like, even if they did constantly get stopped, they could easily do, I feel like they could have easily done, like, something with the Market Kane way more than they have been, because so far, it's just been, you know, once Dean kind of snapped, every episode, I feel like it's just been him trying to not go crazy and then they have like the little stuff of metatron there's like a little step there and then you know fillers again so it's just him trying not to go crazy and then he does at some little point and it's just like i don't know like i like the season i'm still enjoying it because i'm waiting for it to get back you know every time there is a main story episode i love the episode and yeah i guess it's enhanced admittedly because of all the fillers we've had this season but i do think even on their own even if it wasn't a bunch of fillers the main story episodes have been really well done. Like, it's been some pretty cool stuff for sure. Like, the, obviously the Demon Dean stuff. Um, I think before the mid-season finale, or during the mid-season finale, the stuff with Kaz was unbelievable. That was probably the best episode we've had so far, where they really dived into that, and I thought it was just unbelievably well done. It was definitely pretty cool, but there's still just been so many fillers this season, and... You know, it's like every episode is just like something they could easily go this route, but it kind of goes the filler route 100%. It could be like half filler, half serious, or, or I guess half important or something like that. But obviously it's not like I'm going to stop watching the show. It's just I wish we did have more um, story-based episodes or main episodes rather than just, you know, sort of the Monster of the Week thing, which is admittedly how the show started. And I was fine with that when... The season first started, I was actually kind of excited about that because we haven't had that in so long. And then now it's kind of like it's, it's oversaturated a little where it's like it kind of went back to its main formula. And it was like, that's actually pretty cool because we haven't had that in forever. And now it seems like it's literally every week. It's almost like it is actually the first season where they're just, you know, doing this random thing here and there, except it's not a new show anymore. It's, you know, 10 years old, but... I want to know what you guys think about this season and all the fillers and, you know, even some of the main stuff. Like, what do you like and not like about some of the main components of this season? So, please comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.